Hey everybody, this is a quick demo of the kind of about stats test. Um, something I was working on for a friend, and I'm basically just demoing it for him here. Um, if you want to look at it, fine. Anyway, it's for our roller derby, and uh, we made a very basic program here in Excel that hopefully we can use with a Windows based tablet or something that has Excel on it. Uh, with VBA built in. So basically what it does is instead of typing in the jammer's name, the pivot's name, the three blockers for that team and uh, how many points we made, who got lead, whether they got the lead jammer or the or we got the lead jammer. It also gives the other team's jammer's name and how many points that their team scored during that jam and then it moves on to the next one. So without further ado I went ahead and put the date here so that it'll feed into my new user form. So let's click on jam form. Uh, that date brings up all this good stuff here into the list boxes. If I put any random other date like 122 it wouldn't show up but 222 is the date of the jam so these are the list of players for the home and away team that I assigned to that date. And actually, whoops, we're gonna start on jam one. We're gonna start fresh. Uh, here's how here's how easy this is though, and I, I'm just imagining somebody tapping this with their finger or just using a mouse on a laptop while at the at the bout. This should save a lot of data entry. So basically, you're gonna choose from a from a list of players here who all lined up right now and getting ready to blow the whistle. So you go, okay, this person's out there. This one, this one. Uh, this one and this one. Now you notice that the ones, um, let me back up, let me take these out. So some of these people have kind of a default or what the, what's their main uh, forte and these people are listed as blockers and then these people are either jammers or jammer slash blockers. So and you want to mark who's the jammer and who's the pivot and all the other three people will be blockers by default. So if you go to let's let's just click on this one, this one, this one. You notice that this one, the Queen Cobra lit up as green, and it automatically selected Jammer right here whenever I clicked on her because that's kind of her default as a Jammer. And we're tracking that. So if I clicked on Shaquille, who is also a Jammer, it would supersede the one I already did, and would click here. So let's click on Shaquille. Okay, so that became our Jammer. And then we need one more blocker, so let's do, do uh, bombshell here. So one of these blockers is actually a pivot, and that's kind of the leaders of the blockers, so to speak. And the jammer is kind of the racer. She's going to be la trying to lap the other team. So anyway, let's just assume that Shaquille was listed as a jammer, but in this case that we want to go ahead and manually select Queen Cobra. Then we need to figure out who was the pivot. So they have like a stripe on their helmet. Which one? Let's see. Okay, this person was the pivot. So that becomes orange. And whichever one you click on becomes orange. So it's kind of a visual cue for you. Finally, we go over here. We go to the other team. And of course, as you saw, if you click on here, any of these, if you click on them, they will be removed back onto the list. And you may click on the other person if that was a mistake formerly. And so it's real easy to change them in and out using the list box here and using these five text boxes that I set up. Then over here you got a jammer and this is the only thing we're tracking for the other team is who's their jammer because we didn't really care who their blocker was for this exercise. So let's say their jammer was troublesome for this spout and you say oh that's a mistake just click on this again and change it out or simply just click on whoever you want and it'll populate this text box here. So their jammer was troublesome now I'm not going to click next just yet. You want to say uh, how many points did each team get. So let's say there was 15 to 14. Very close. Okay, the home team got 15 points that jam. And they got 14. Who was our lead jammer? Was it ours or theirs? Uh, we got the lead jammer for jam number one. So let's click next jam. It's going to load it into this worksheet behind us. Click next and it refreshes everything but you see here behind us on the actual worksheet it has typed it in Queen Cobra as the jammer 
I figured out that the pivot was Flora. Uh, the three blockers were these three ladies. And then our points, we got 15. Who got lead? Home. Home team got lead. Troublesome was the alternate jammer, and they scored 14. And just like that, all the data is entered in. We can do charts and graphs, statistics using Excel. So that's uh, it's pretty cool. And this uh, switched over to jam number two, so we're ready to go. Okay, so is this five? These five people this time. Boom, 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 boom. Molotov was their jammer. Okay, it's the end of the jam. So we found that it was uh, 18 to 20. And the away team got it, but uh, they had the lead. So you click next, and you're ready to go again. Do 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 do. No, it was actually Sue Bob was jamming. It was five to five, and we got lead. Boom. So let's take a look at what we just did. We just entered all this data over here, and oh, and I noticed I forgot to put a pivot. You have to manually click on the pivot, so. I forgot to do that when I was blazing through this. I'll probably put, um, I don't want to call it an error code, but I'll probably put a flag that, hey, you're forgetting to say who's the uh, pivot. So when they click this, it'll say, be sure and click a pivot. And you uh, then you go back and go, oh, yeah, that's right, this person was the pivot. And then you can proceed. But anyway, it's just a lot of data entry that you are not having to do you just click a couple things and boom you're done and you get back into the game immediately by clicking on this jam form which even if you scroll way down you can access boom okay so that's pretty much it thanks for watching I uh, hope this helps somebody if it doesn't oh well it was good practice for me so thanks for watching God bless